Hi guys, just finished watching the Italy against Wales game, the first match of round four of the 2021 Six Nations. Final score, Italy 7, Wales 48, and it was fairly routine for Wales, you have to be honest, uh, but overall Italy should be, I think, disappointed with themselves. They were really poor at the start, really poor first half, as Wales uh, romped into getting the bonus point and went ahead into a 27-0 lead. Um... Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to go through every try, but of course two tries from Ken Owens uh, for Wales and he had a very good game uh, with his all-round play, especially his line-out, which is improving and is definitely putting him in uh, firm contention to be the Lions uh, hooker, providing that tour goes ahead, of course. Um, and Josh Navidi as well, from a Wales point of view, had an excellent game and you could say deserved man of the match as well. Uh, but apart from that, I think Wales like did what they had to do. There's moments like their offloading game worked pretty well, but, I mean, apart from apart from that, there's things you think against better opposition, they won't have it as easy. Italy, on their other hand, as I say, start, started really poorly. That Garbisi kick from the start, just absolutely shocking, and it set the tone pretty much from there as to how the game was going to go. So many penalties, gave, Italy gave away two yellow cards and just didn't help themselves at all, um, you know, not taking line-outs in their own 22, sloppy tackles, bad defending, and... It was an easy day for Wales. It's just really sad. I mean, with all the promotion relegation talks, Italy just can't make a case for themselves to um, uh, seriously uh, stay in this competition with, um, or at least um, stay out of the conversation of a possible promotion relegation uh, battle happening in future. Um, I personally would prefer the playoff route with that, where the bottom team of the Six Nations takes on the top team of whatever the Tier 2 composition is and go with that, but uh, that's for another day. Overall, I think uh, Wales can be happy enough, um, but against better opposition, they'll have it a lot tougher, and it'll be a lot tougher for them against France next week. But they're on course for the Grand Slam, and well done to them there. Italy, on the other hand, back to the drawing board, a lot of improving to do in all areas. They need to become a team that is at the very least hard to play against, at the very least disciplined with being able to execute the basics well. Because the, the caliber player they have, they're going to find it really hard otherwise. If they can't like get a, a, a team that is at least stuffy, at least very hard to play against, then uh, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very difficult for them. But that's all I've got to say really on this game, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm um, going to be watching the England-France game now. Again, I'll be watching it with Brandon. I'll put a link to this um, his channel below if you want to check that out. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll catch you later on.